Whether you support the RMT or the TFL, it's safe to say that your day will have been affected by the strike. This morning, for example, I fought my way into a bus and had to stand on the upper deck, which was boiling due to all the people. Good times. Uh, people in theatre land have also been affected. It's estimated to have cost restaurants, clubs and shops around £50 million a day. We headed to the West End to get the view from a ticket salesman, tuk-tuk driver and shopkeeper. Red Leicester Square is dead at the moment. We're about after business. It's it's not fun, do you know what I mean? You get everybody looking at you like, well, how can we get in? You can't, do you know what I mean? All because they're closing two strikes, they're going to do another one in a couple of weeks. Uh, it's all fun and games. I think we should bring Margaret Thatcher back. Get rid of the unions. Uh, you know, I affect a lot today because there is no people coming to the centre. Uh, you know, and then there is less business. So, yeah, there is much less, much less business. People are not coming when there's too much rush, you know, in the buses. Buses are getting late. We're getting late to work by ourselves also. We can't get it to work on our time, you know what I mean? If there is a tube trick, the people from underground or overground, they should put on some free buses to make the journey easier and faster for us, you know what I mean? Because of you paying the ticket and everything, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, we've got the right to, to have the easy journey, to get home safe. Those three guys were so cool, the one with the Italia t-shirt and everything. We've got to find them again. Uh, so businesses in the West End saying they're coming off short with people not willing to stay out late because of the tube strike. But there are also a number of others trying to give Londoners a little bit of respite which is very nice of them. Now, Fuller's pubs have been offering stressed out commuters a free beer or a small glass of wine to help put a smile on their face. Of course, if you drink beer and wine together, you will not have a smile on your face. Just some vomit. Uh, if you're stuck in the middle of town, we found one restaurant on Garrick Street offering those who'd walk to work 25% off of food. Very good. And Pizza Express jumped on board as well. They've offered 40% off main meals at their restaurants in central London. How kind of them. And for those too frustrated to even try and use public transport, NCP car parks have come up with a special 20% off deal. Lots of generosity there.